Hello world, welcome back to the channel, it's W3 here. So in this video we're going to go over uh, two programs that can be used to um, basically search your your computer to see if it has any backdoors or rootkits, more specifically rootkits. So one of these is called RK Hunter and I've just uh, done a quick duck, duck, go. And it says RK Hunter is a Unix based tool that scans for rootkits, backdoors, and possible local exploits. It does this by comparing SHA 1 hashes of important files with known good ones in online databases, searching for default directories, wrong permissions, hidden files, suspicious strings in kernel modules, and special tests for Linux and FreeBSD. It was released in 2006. So, it's quite good, but there are ways uh, that rootkits do get around this, and I have read uh, of some rootkits where this it doesn't detect it, but I suppose it's worth maybe doing every now and then anyway. It may bring up something. So we're going to go to the VPS, and we're going to sudo su, so I'm now root, and we're going to install the uh, RK Hunter. So apt install RK Hunter, and it's uh, installing. And it's installed. So we can go RK Hunter dash dash help, and we've got a big help menu here. So we can do, 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 do we could do dash C to check the local system. So we'll do we'll do that. So RK Hunter dash C. Okay, it's performing uh, its checks now. And as you can see, we've got OK, OK, OK. You might find a couple of um, not OK ones, like there. We've got warning, warning, warning. That doesn't necessarily mean um, anything, as you'll see later on, when it gives you the, um, the output of the scan, basically. Also, I'm pretty pissed off about my um, SSH bot brute force video being deleted this morning which kind of sucks to be honest but anyway being deleted and removed by YouTube I'm, I'm, I'm on about as well but anyway you're scanning through um, rootkits that have been found before so it's going through obviously previous rootkit uh, signatures as well I presume got to press enter Again, now it's performing additional rootkit checks. So it's taken a little bit of time. Okay, press enter again. Everything's looking okay at the minute. It's checking the network, it's checking local host, etc. We're getting a few warnings, but that doesn't necessarily mean you know anything uh, is bad we'll press enter again okay it's finished so as we can see on the system check summary we got rootkit checks and it's saying that it's checked 500 rootkits and the possible rootkits is zero and application checks all checks has been skipped system checks took 1 minute 33 seconds all results have been written to a log file so var slash log rk hunter dot log your var slash log is uh, where lots of log files live if you want to check your um, SSH auth log as well and grep for accepted, you'll be able to see if anyone has actually got through. But you'll find many brute force attempts in your um, auth log for SSH. Don't worry about that, it's normal. But yeah, this is our RK Hunter, which is a rootkit checker basically. We're also going to go through another one, which I think is a little bit older. Than RK Hunter. RK Hunter is meant to be the better one, but I think there's one called CHK, so check and then rootkit. So we'll just duck duck go that, and we've got check rootkit is a common Unix based program intended to help system administrators check their system for known rootkits. So yeah, I think this one is a little bit older, but we'll just go through that as well. So apt install check chk and then root kit so we'll install that application it's finished we'll now go to chk check and then root kit dash dash help 
see what options we've got. Da, 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 da. Exclude known false positive space separate. Da, da, da. Okay, so I think we just do chk rootkit and just run it like that. Okay, yeah, just like that. So it's doing its checks and hope. Well, yeah, okay, everything's come back except this one doesn't actually um, give you an output of um, the overall system. It just literally scans and just you have to go for it yourself to see if anything's infected, I guess. And everything, yep, it's looking good. You can see it doesn't take that long on this one either. So, yeah, RK Hunter. RK Hunter is definitely the more up to date, newer, and better rootkit um, finder, hunter, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, just a quick video. Hope you enjoyed. This will be in the Rootkit um, playlist as well. Check out the Rootkit tutorials part one and two if you're interested in that type of stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.